creating and connecting to your new Azure VPN. This is my resource group, now my servers. Now I'm gonna look at my resource group properties. And I can see that I have no VPN. I need to look at my address subnet settings and take a note. You might not have a gateway setting here, but I do. But just copy this IP address information. Come over here and now start the wizard. I'm going to create a point VPN. Tick create gateway now. And we're going to paste that value in. And press OK. 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 Deployment started. It's going to have to wait quite some time. Still creating the gateway. Okay, the gateway has now been created. Let's just inspect the properties. It has an external IP address. This actually took about half an hour to complete um, in real time. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is to create a certificate. It says here at least one certificate must be uploaded before clients can use this connection. So here we go, I can go to manage certificates, no certificates, so I press upload and just select a file. First, I need to create a root certificate on my local computer. Okay, I don't have a root certificate, so I'm gonna have to create one using a program called MakeCert. If you have Visual Studio installed, you will have a copy of MakeCert already. So let's just open that. Go to my Visual Studio, and I'll open up developer command prompt and to test, I can just write make type make cert, and it says that. Okay, so now I will create the root certificate, which I will upload to Azure. I'm going to call it Sean's root cert. Succeeded. I also need to create a client certificate that the VPN connection will use. My local from my local computer. That is called Sean's Client Cert and it references Sean's Root Cert just above. Succeeded. Now to upload the root certificate. And there's the root certificate there, which I just created. Open that. Press OK. It's uploading. Successfully uploaded certificate. There it is there, Sean's root cert. Okay, let's close that. Now over here, I can download a VPN client installer that Azure creates for me. And this uh, I'll do now. Generating the VPN client package. Successfully generated the VPN client package. Now I'm going to run it. Yes, I'll install it. Now if I go down to my network properties, here it exists as a new connection. I click it and press connect, press connect, continue, establishing secure connection, verifying password. Here we go. If I look down here again now, I should say connected. And just to verify that using command, IP config. There's my IP address that I'm using.